everybody. Welcome back to my 30 Days to Die series. It is the morning of day 28. We are getting pretty close here to uh, Horde Night, so that's going to be fun. Uh, let's get some wood and keep this... Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it off for a bit. just want to minimize the amount of screamers that are going to be coming. So we got some candles for now for lighting uh, outside. I'm going to light the backyard up with candles, but today... I want to see if we can make some floodlights. Now we um, we're not going to be able to make a battery bank. I looked into this because I want to make a I wanted to make a battery bank to run lights out in the back. But I think if I'm not mistaken, oops. Um, there's the morning shotgun turrets, rocket launchers. We need to be like level 80 here. Uh, where did I see rockets, advanced fuels? Yeah, battery banks tier five. And we need to be have intellect at level 10. So we need five points for that. And then we need two more points because we have to get this one here and this one here. So we need seven more points. And that is going to be, uh, that's going to put us at level what? 70. So that's, we got to get seven levels in a couple of days. And I don't know if that's going to happen. But what we do have, and I forgot we had, is we have a generator bank, which means we can run it with fuel. So I want to see if we can make some floodlights today. Uh, I'm not sure. Oop, not flawed. Hmm. Do we have to buy them? Helmet light, simple light, spotlight. Okay. Spotlight, we need a headlight, electrical parts, duct tape, and iron, and that's so easy to make. That is so easy to make. Okay, well, um, let's make two to, uh, let's make four. So we're going to need, oops, we're going to need, well, let's just pull it out. We're, let's not mess around. We got lots of headlights. Um, what else was it we needed again? Oh yeah, iron, which we got in here. Which we've got in here. So let's go make this in our... Well, let's see how long it's going to take to make. Oh, geez, that's no time at all. Let's make four of these. Uh, we can't. We have to make it in the workbench, of course. Because, of course, spotlight for craft. Let's get those going. Because uh, I think once we've got... Um, yeah. Once we've got those, we need our wire tool... Um, Where's our wire tool? I know we have one. Where are you? Didn't we have a wire tool? I thought we had a wire tool. We didn't sell it, did we? Maybe we didn't. Uh, wire tool. Nine forged steel and three mechanical parts, so that's easy enough. Yeah, now we've got eight. Um, and three mechanical parts. Mechanical parts. Where are you, mechanical parts? Up here. There's three, right? Yeah. All right, let's make some more forged steel out of here once we get some wood for fuel. Okay, put you in here. Oh, we got lots of fuel. Yeah, might as well do this. Uh, forge steel, let's get 20. Forged iron, let's make 100. Let's get that going. That's all we need there. Nice. Okay, we can make our wire tool. Now I'm hoping... Um, let's craft that. Oh yeah, we got. I made um, a bunch of these guys last night. We had some schematics that we ha I hadn't made yet. Uh, so we got more improved fittings for our armor once we make it. Um, modified trigger group to fire three round bursts. Um, so that's for if we want to control our bursts for the SMG and stuff. Uh, purified water in the helmet, which we don't really need, but well, we've got it anyway. And this reduces fall damage for, for any foot armor that we're wearing. So we've got those for when we're ready to go. Just gonna drop them in here now. We've only got a couple of these things that we haven't made, but we don't really need these for the, the uh, Horde Knight. So we got some extras. 
All right, so let's uh, wait for this to be done. I'm not sure. There's those four, and there's the wire tool. Now, I, I let's get the generator bank out. I know we need fuel for the generator bank, but I don't know how much we need. Um, where's the generator bank? Oh, you know what? We need engines for that. That's what it is, right? I think once we put this down, we need to put engines in it. Just got to figure out where it's going to go out there. Um, so let's go outside. I got all my spikes on me too. So my biggest fear is that the zombies decide the easiest way to get to me is to go through the wall and go into the house and come across this platform here. So most likely what I'm going to do at some point, I don't think for this ordinate I have to worry about it, but I'm going to extend this across four, put a drawbridge in here, right? And then it'll be out to here. And then, um, yeah, when we need to get in, we just the drawbridge, it comes down, and then we lift it back up again so they can't get in. So that's the thought. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. Uh, all right, so let's put down our storage chest out here, and I'm going to put it up on the wall, like right here, I think. Right? And then our generator bank, maybe we drop this down. Here, maybe? I mean, the last thing you want is the exhaust to be on the inside of this place, but I don't think it really matters. We could put it upstairs. I mean, maybe it's better up here. Like we just put it against one of the walls here. Like that. And then we'll need to get... Where are we going to put our floodlights? That's the question. We kind of need, like... I think one on either side of here looking out, one for this side and one for this side, although we probably should put one back here too. Although I got, you know what, I got the candles. We can put the candles out back here. The thing about the candles is they're going to draw um, screamers. They add to the heat map of the area. I mean, I guess we really shouldn't really worry about it, but... Okay, so I think the generator bank needs the engines in it, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Okay. Put the engines in. Maximum output 200 watts. Let's refuel this sucker. Takes all the gas. Okay, so we got tons of gas for this thing now. Now I just think we need to do is put the... Let's put these spotlights down below. I'm just thinking too, we should probably... If for some reason we fall off of here, whatever, during the Horde night, we should probably put some way to get back up. And I don't know how to do that. Not with what we have. The other thing is we can put a secondary ramp. With a door that we can jump across. I'll have to think about it. I don't think we're going to have to worry about it for this Horde night. But I'm definitely thinking that we're, for a future moving forward, we're probably going to need it. Most likely. All right, so. I mean, we could put this like. That's a pretty good cone. Um, we could put it like right here. Does it have to sit on something or can it attach to the wall? That's up four. Ah. Okay. No, it'll attach. Now all we have to do is hit it with the wire. Okay, and now if we put these here, we'd have to put them like right here. Just so the zombies don't hit them. Right? And then this guy, like right here. Like that. Okay. This nerd pulled our, nerd pulled our way back up here. 
I mean, I guess if... In dire circumstances, I guess we could always just... Like, nerd pull our way back up here. Alright, let's get our wire tool. That's connecting these is going to be an issue, I think. But we'll see how it goes. It might not be an issue. So... Alright. And then we cannot see the one down there. We see this guy. Can we get to him? Nope, we cannot. Alright, so we have to go outside. Yeah, we're going to have to go outside and do this. Uh, maybe we do this. I think I'm going to have to redo the... Uh, Thank God for wood frames, man. Um, now, can we get to the generator? We can't get to the generator bank through there, because why would we be able to? That would just be too easy. Alright. You. And then... We want to get up here. To you. Um, what? Huh. Let's use up this. I'm just gonna turn my helmet light off. Um, why well, wanna let me. You should be able to attach it. I've seen people do it right through walls before. Okay. Okay. Connected. Come on, move it. Okay, there we go. Connected. Now, I want to run separate lines for each one, I think. I was clicking the wrong button. User error. Nine times out of ten, everything that I do that's wrong is user error. I have no compunction about saying that. Alright, let's get you hooked up. Right? Yep, got power running. All right, let's go to the other side. Uh, let's not take that one yet. Just in case he decides he wants to fall on me like that. Damn you. I'm dropping frames. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. It's a computer joke. All right. Um, let's get out here. All right, I was f freaking out the other day thinking, oh, you know what? We don't even have a battery bank to hook, put batteries into. And I'm like, what are we going to do? I said we were going to run power. And I'm like, then I realized we had a generator bank. I'm like, oh, yeah, we could just use the generator bank. All right, connect you. There we go. I think we can go the other way too, but I'm just, don't want to. Waste time. Let's grab you. I mean, we could run lights in here too, but there's no point. Uh, and you. Alright, there we go. Actually, you know what? There is kind of a point. Um, because you can... Uh, let's grab you and you. Um, turn on and off the heat map. When you go with candles and stuff, it's continuous unless you take them off the wall. I mean, it's not hard taking candles off a wall, but still, it's like... Yeah, I lost that one. Well, you know. <sighs> Gonna make a cool lighting system, gotta break a little wood. Alright, so, yeah, let's get the generator turned on and see... You know what? We're gonna turn it on. There we go, lights are on. We're going to see how that looks tonight, too. But this is what it's going to be like with the lights on. So we should have some pretty good view down here. Yeah, I mean, not bad. It's not bad. At least, at least we got the lights out here. 
I mean, we can already see pretty well, but it's going to give us a little bit more lighting. I mean, maybe I'll turn the... Um, I might turn the uh, lighting down here. If we go to uh, gamma real quick. Like if we... Like it's usually set to zero. Right? So this is what it would be like. So here's our helmet light. Right? This is what it would normally be like. And then... Uh, so if we turn this on, turn this off, well, maybe not. That's pretty damn dark. Uh, let's go to gamma again. Um, wish we could just like 30%. I don't know. It's kind of iffy. Yeah, 50% is actually pretty good. Let me know what you think. If you want me to run the Horde Knight on 50%, we'll leave the helmet light off just to make it that much more spooky. It's looking pretty good once we get our guns out here. I mean, we won't be able to see a lot of them coming unless they're radiated. They'll be glowing. But other than that, it's actually not that bad. I kind of don't mind it at all. Turn this off again. So that even with just the moonlight, we're okay. Turn the helmet light on, we can see just fine. Right, we'll be in here. So we'll be able to see them just fine, even with the helmet light off, I think, with the other lights on. Alright, let's turn her off. So that's going to run for the whole night. Now, I don't know how much damage those engines will take, if any. But that'll run for the whole night. We'll be, we should be able to see outside, no problem. I still haven't knocked this boulder down. We're going to have to do that. Ah, uh, it's going to be so boring knocking that boulder down, but it's got to go. It's just right, like right in our way right now. Um, okay. So, yeah, before we lay the spikes, we're going to have to do that. But, let's go around, and we're going to replace the ones on the wall here. Just to make sure we're ship shape. There's a few I noticed that are broken. Uh, we didn't bring any wood with us because it's me. Let's take this tree down. As much as I like the look of it, it's got to go. It's got to go. Alright. Now we got some wood. So I think I'm going to keep the spikes relatively tight. Come on, wood, man, the wood. Uh, I'm going to keep the spikes relatively tight to the base, because we don't have a lot, and I don't want to make a whole ton. And like I said, I don't foresee falling into them through this Horde Knight. So I think we'll be okay there. I hope. He says before the Horde Knight comes and then he's horrifically killed on his own spikes. Which wouldn't be shocking to me. It might be to other people, but it would not be shocking to me. Okay. Those replaced. These have been doing a wonderful job against Screamers. I'm going to add a few more around here. I don't know if they're really going to be... Yeah, see, they've... I got wood. Just hit the damn... So this ramp, I can't... I'm going to make it out of flagstone. Because I can't make wood shapes without a... Uh, like the proper wood shapes without a, um, a sawmill table. Which is really annoying. Like, you can make flagstone shapes, you just can't make wood shapes. The sawmill is one of those tools that's interesting, but... It's like... A general fail, because he comes really late in the game. Come on. There we go. Comes really late in the game, and you don't got a lot of use for it. Once it arrives. Other than making your house look cool. If you're gonna do that, you might as well do it from right from the very beginning. I mean, 
the inside of our place looks like crap right but eventually I want to fix it up I want to have it look nice in there depending on how well this horde base goes uh, we may want to go build another house somewhere else um, and it might end up being that bunker over there but it's unlikely we'll probably keep this place because I want to fix it up I want to put some couches in it make it look really nice all right so that's that done now we got to hit up this boulder and I really hate to say this but this has got to go it's just in the way uh, didn't want to have to do this today but let's just do it get it done all right guys well I hit up part of this boulder and you know what I'm bored doing it I don't want to do this anymore uh, so we're gonna do other stuff let's get this you know what we need to lay this stuff down at least start let's get rid of this um, okay so I don't think we're gonna be touching the ramp before horde night so let's get our metal spikes in here so how do we look in here let's get them this way okay that side and this side doesn't really matter which way you put them but try and make them a little uniform if we can okay we're gonna run out really fast here I'm gonna leave that that pillar back there for now all right let's do this side we're gonna need to make a lot more of these I think while they'll hold on really well here uh, it's going to be a major failing if we don't make sure we have enough of these okay, let's do that and get this side filled in they go fast man I'm telling you we had 73 and they are pretty much gone uh, so let's fill this in this should kill I'm guessing a lot of the horde okay we got five left and there's an airdrop uh, what are we gonna do with the last five here one two three four let's just hang on to the last one for now no sense dropping it where did the airdrop go how far away is that probably go hit up that today at some point too uh actually not bad it's up in the uh barren biome we haven't explored this part of the town either there might be something over there we can get so we're going to hit up that but not right now let's go ahead and drop in I'm gonna do this side over here first so I'm thinking this will be the inside line here okay we're gonna need a hell of a lot of spikes and maybe we only put one spike wall on the outside before we drop the barbed wire in Now this is really resource ridiculous. So if you're building a horde base, like if you're playing for seven days, this is like, I don't know, kind of ridiculous in resources. We seem to be going into the ground here. Okay, how far? We got to keep going. I think I'm going to have it see I think maybe we just use this to force them to go to the ramp right We're just forcing them to go to the ramp uh, yeah and then that'll be the end there like that I think Let's just grab this free stuffs. 
Okay, now we're only gonna run it around the front. I'm gonna have to count. I have to count stuff now. Okay, let's see how many from here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's seven out. So we've got, oh, here we go. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, oops, seven. Wow, that's actually not bad. Uh, I think we need to dig that down. Damn it. Just when you think it was safe to go back into the water. That just seems wrong to me. Oh, really? Whatever. That's what. That's how it's going to be. That's how it's going to be. I'm not changing it now. Okay, we got enough barbed wire for this. So we're going to leave a gap here at the end so we can get out. I mean, we could always never pull back up and get back in the house. Which actually I think we'll do. I think we will do that. I will be interested to see if they decide that the best thing to do is to go through these spikes. That will be interesting. Okay, we're going to put the layers on the outside afterwards. So I don't have to worry about people sneaking up from behind me now. I'll be able to hear them. But we definitely need to knock more of that boulder down because otherwise they'll climb up it and try and jump over. So I just watched a video where the fun pimps were talking about some improvements they have for building in this game. Looks like they've got some really good uh, things planned. So what they're thinking about doing, well, what they've actually started implementing is that instead of having to make all the different shapes, you just make like your flagstone block, right? And then when you're placing it, you can decide what shape you want it to be, which is great. It's going to save so much time. so much time when you're trying to figure out how to do a build because now you don't have to think about what shapes you need you just grab your concrete block and then change the shape while you're out building right it's just so much better okay the other thing they want to work on doing which I thought was, it's sorely needed because I've mentioned this several times in my playthrough series here, is that there should be a way once you've placed the block to be able to pick it up. Because if you if you make a mistake, you got to be able to pick the block up again, right? It's like, how can you have a block in your hand and put it down and not be able to pick it back up again? So my suggestion is something just as simple as control control Z. It just undoes your last action. You don't have to have it have it do consecutive actions. Just give the player one action. So if you lay a spike down in the wrong spot, you just hit control Z and it just undoes that last action. And that only works for placing blocks. That's all you do it for. Alright, now let's get out. We're gonna finish this up. So we're gonna get out. Where is it's pouring down right here now, guys. Not in game, obviously, but at my place. I'm gonna do this. We're not gonna do that. Apparently that doesn't have a top on it. All right, there we go. Now we gotta worry about zombies. If we have enough for a second row of spikes on the outside of the barbed wire, that'll be good. But if we don't, I'm not that, uh, see what I mean? That worried about it. We are going to have to knock out some more of that block. My god, it's like, see what I mean? It's like 2.30 in the afternoon. Just base building itself takes forever. 
And all we've done today is hook up a de generator, put some lights up, and lay spikes. That's it. That's all we've done. So, it's one of the reasons why I was considering doing like this base building stuff off camera. I don't know if you want to sit there and watch me drop spikes. Talk BS as I'm doing it. I don't know. We might have enough spikes here for one row. Gonna need to knock this. Well, sorry. I, I take that back. We did knock down part of this thing here. Like they're going to want to jump across this. Maybe. I don't know. So I'm going to hammer out another row of this thing. I don't know how much we need to take off of here. I'll, I'm going to take as much as I can before the Horde Knight starts. And then at some point finish destroying this whole boulder because it needs to be gone. Alright, there's the last one. I mean, I don't know. I see this is the weak spot of the base. Like I said, if I can get a chance to come back out and redo this, I'm going to do that. Like, I'll, I'll even go in there and raise that barbed wire. I don't think the wire is going to make that much difference where it is. I think it'll be fine. But barring that, I mean, I might put more spikes around this thing. I don't know. Just to, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, I don't really foresee them trying to get up on there to jump over. But they might. They're tricky zombies. Alright. There it is, folks. We're going to need to get some more metal spikes for the inside for sure. We're going to lay them around there. Maybe some more. Uh, I'm trying to leave... Trying to leave the front of this open. Like that. So when they do bust through, they feel like they've got a clear path to me. And that's where they'll head. And where we just block everything else off and it's just like, yeah, that's, that way's a bad way to go. Go through here. I hope. Fingers crossed. Alright, let's go down. I know we got a, almost a full backpack here, but I'm not worried. We're going to go pick up the airdrop. Because I want to know if we got a beaker or not. We need two damn beakers. 69% fuel, we're good. Alright, let's get a count going. Wow, still nobody. It is a quiet day out here today. Calm before the storm, most likely. I like to try and build a base up on one of these sometime. You'd have to build more support pillars, but it's kind of cool looking. Okay, Joey's used cars. And there's a friggin' poppin' pills. What's up, buddy? Oh, for crying out loud. And swing, bada! Let's just finish these guys off real quick. We're going to hit up that popping pills today. Oh, say goodnight. How close are we here? Um, we're not close at all. I'm trying to avoid the bike taking damage. I mean, I could blast my way through here. There's another bird. There it is. There's another bird. And here they come. First one coming in. And swing, bada! Yeah, you. he's like... I got a second thought about that one. Swing, bada! Okay, I'm getting better at those. Nothing. We got a tweaker. Let's uh, drop some of this stuff in here. Because we're going to need to go into the popping pills. Just stay down. Stay down. Nope. You don't get back up. Alright. Uh, let's head over to the popping pills now. Yeah, that's a booby trap if I've ever seen one. I wouldn't get sucker to going in there. Alright. Uh, where was that popping pills? Right over here, right? Rawr, rawr. 
I'm just keeping my eyes open for bears. There it is. Popping pills right here. Oh, there's a dog. We're gonna have to kill that guy. He's gonna come after us. Yeah, see, if we had just gone far along, far enough along, there he is. You're not coming after me? You gotta go before we go in here. Are you serious? Guy, I'm right here. It's like he's like the transparent dog. There we go. My arrow's back. Make sure we're reloaded. Yep. I bet you we find our beakers in here today, guys. I should just wake them all up. Let's wake them up. Right here, guys. Hello! Oh, we got another guy coming around the side. Me and my bad shot. That guy's down. Here they come. They're coming from all over. Watching out for runners. We got a runner back behind this guy. Stay down. Reloading. Where'd that dog go? He's down there. Whoa! Scared the shiz out of me. Yeah, they're all coming now. There's the dog. What's up, buddy? See ya! Good night. 58 rounds left. Gotta keep that in mind when we go inside. Oh, look at you. You don't even deserve it. You don't deserve the uh, shotgun. Well, at least Mo didn't surprise the shiz out of us this time. We better clear this place. Hello. I'm here. Oh, there's more back here. Time to wake up, guys. What's up? Oh, that was glass there. Lucy, I'm home. I hear somebody shuffling. Wake up. Use the door. That's what it's there for. This guy's still sleeping back here. Look at this guy. Dude. I'm trying to clear this place. Time to wake up. Oh, they're outside. I wonder if it's a wandering... Where'd my shotgun go? What the hell did I do? I hit the drop button. You know what it is? My Minecraft drop button is a reload button. It's a wandering horde. That was bizarre. I went right between the two of these guys and killed the other guy. Good practice for the horde night, but the horde will be running. They will be running, and they are going to murder us if we're not careful. Hey, big mama. No, I don't want to shoot the pill case. Just in case. Yeah, that was a wandering hard. All right, let's loot what we can. Nope. Nope. 
still somebody coming. No. Four up, four down. Oh, come on. We're in here. Party's here, guys. Oh, don't destroy my still. No, 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 no. Bad zombie. Come back and get that stuff in a minute. Let's get these first. Gonna get all these cases first. If we get what we need, we're gonna get out of here. Oh, my God. Oh, there's one beaker. Got one. We got one. We just need one more to make a still. Nope. Come on. Give me a beaker. See, this was here all along. And due to my ineptness... Oh, cool. We can use that for nothing. Oh, pill cases. Look at this. Come on. Well, we can make a lot of first aid kits. That'll be good. Come on, just one more. Oh my god, we're not going to get that last one, I bet you. Starting to panic now. It's going to give me just one. Got one beaker. Just need one more. <sighs> Don't really need this, but I'm taking it anyway. Just so I can feel like we got other stuff from here. I don't know why I'm doing that. Nothing there. I've already gone through that. Another case over here. Oh my god, there's a whole bunch in there. Keeping things positive. Do I have my looting goggles on? I do not because... Idiot! Okay, I haven't checked these yet. Not that I think it's... Like, I really haven't noticed that much of a difference. I have to say, and I don't know what the difference really is. Does it give you one more item, or...? Come on, Beaker. Ah, you... Come on. Really? Come on, please. Got ten chances. Eight chances. Well, if we break a leg, definitely not have to worry about that. Oh my god, we didn't get one. Oh, painful. Uh, where's my wrench? Oh, they almost destroyed the still. Whole piece of forged iron out of that, guys. Yay! And I think this is the toilet over here. Did I check this row? I did. <sighs> Better be in here. Animal fat and coal. That's unlocked. Whoa. What's up, guys? You guys slept through the whole party. Well, you get invited to the party now. Now you don't feel left out. Let's just loot this place. We got one beaker. One. I'd almost rather have none. You know why? Because now I feel like I need to go searching for another popping pill somewhere to find that other beaker. I feel sad. Do we miss anything? I don't think we missed anything here. Oh, we did. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm not even going to comment. Well, I guess it was worth actually coming here. I mean, we did get the... Uh, the one beaker. 
What do we got in here? It does show us that beakers do exist in this world and we can find them. It's just going to take, you know, 28 days to do so. Yeah, just take it like that. Oh, man. I mean, we're not going to find it in these trash piles. But we'll take the oil. Free iron. Alright, let's get back on the bike. Gonna have to get a repair kit to repair this shotgun soon. Let's have a look. Now we got the whole town now. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can get a kill count on the way home. We didn't get anybody on the way here, but. Here's one. What's up, Mo? Oh, a nice one. Oh, we got somebody over here. Tweaker? Oh, I missed him completely. Didn't lead him enough. Oh, we got somebody over here. Yeah, another one. Yeah, we got a pig back there, but I ain't stopping. We got enough meat. Another one on the side road. I'm not going to bother. I'm going to head home and dump all this stuff off. Now all we need is a remote control. At this point we would hit the remote control, the drawbridge would come down. I really hope we can get close enough to activate it here. I think before Horde Night we may have to go across the street and clear these guys out. Yeah, they, they put enough, put enough of a uh, thing on it there. Sure. Whatever works for you. What the? Oh, here we go. Alright, let's go drop this stuff off. Empty the bike out. Man, we got a lot of healing supplies. Just not what we really needed. Well, we got a, I mean, we got a few med kits. A few more bandages. I mean, the med kits will keep with us. I think we I think we we got some recog too, nice. Uh there's the beaker. Alright, dump this other gack off in here. I think what we'll do is we're gonna need to make um Yeah, we're gonna need to make more gunpowder, I think. So I'll probably go do that before Horde Night. And then, oh, yeah, I gotta ride the bike in here anyway. I should make a, like a little asphalt driveway for this thing to park on. Okay, we're just gonna leave the bike here. Let's take all this. Got everything right? We did. Okay, perfect. Let's close this up. All right. That problem solved. Uh, what can we put in here? The iron. We're going to put some more wood in here. Stone is still going, eh? I uh, don't know how much we're going to need. Just trying to keep the heat map lower. I, mean, I know I mentioned that before. Alright, we've been through the wood in here. Let's keep a little bit in there just in case we need to use it right away. And there's the evening. We've got the brass. What did I do with the brass? Oh, we got... Oh yeah, we got the iron from hitting up those blocks outside. So let's get that cooking. Uh, where did the brass go? There it is. Let's put that in there. This takes a little while to, to uh, cook down. Oh, it's only 20 seconds. Not that bad. Alright, let's put in this stuff we got left over. We used almost all of our spike traps. Didn't use the candles though. We got the floodlights up and running. Let's make sure we leave that in there. Uh, where is... Here we go. And the hammer can stay in here for now. I got a feeling, you know what we're going to do next tomorrow? We're going to go hit up a bunch of POIs. We got time before the Horde night. I think we're in a really good uh, placement now before Horde comes. 
I don't really think there is that much more I want to do to the base. I think we're in a good position. Um, so there, that can go in there. Uh, plastic can go in there. That can go in there. Swap these two around. Um, yeah, so like, as I was saying, we're in a good position for the Horde Knight. Not worried about that. Um, we got enough concrete. I mean, I'm going to make... I was kind of planning not using arrows at all, but I might make some iron arrows and stuff. I mean, we've got 89 iron and 250 steel arrow, actually 259 steel arrows. So I'll probably use the steel arrows that night. Um, let's just leave these tips in here. Ammo. All right, looking good. And the wood can just stay in here. Looking good. Let's switch these around. We're going to need to make more shotgun rounds. So what we'll do, I think, tomorrow... Let's get my helmet light back on so we can see what we're doing here. Uh, I think what we'll do tomorrow is... This can go off now. Um, we'll fill up the uh, the uh, um, alchemy still over there with um, a gunpowder and all that stuff. Just to get that going, we'll probably have to clear it. Uh, then we're going to go hit up some POIs. Now, I'm going to have a look... Search around the map. I mean, we could go back up here. I get a feeling there's going to be less wanderers if we go up to the uh, town up here. Now, we've already done Bob's Boar's Carl's Corn here. But I'm sure there's a lot of other stuff up in this town over on this side that we can find, that we can go in and hit up. There's a few buildings over here. I'm going to try and avoid doing, like, houses and stuff. Uh, I'm going to look for bigger buildings. Um... Uh, or we could go down, I mean, we could go down and hit up City Hall down here. Where was it? Right here, I think it was. Somewhere down here, there was a City Hall that we passed by. Not sure if that was it, but somewhere down here. Yeah, I think that was it. Or was this here? One of these two, one of these places down here, there's a City Hall. Uh, oh, wait, there's a hospital there. We never did hit that hospital. We hit this one. So let's hit up this hospital down there. We'll go in a different way this time. Rather than going in the back door and around, we'll come in this side. Like we'll go in the front doors maybe. I don't know though. Like I think it was I think the best bet is going in this side. Cuz I think I've been in this side before and it's mostly like administration wing. There's like very few pill cases and stuff. I think our best bet might be go to going through the emergency again. So maybe we'll try hitting that up, and if that fails, we'll try something else. But uh, I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, two days till Horde Night.